What's up guys? These bodybuilding days, they're not getting any easier because as soon as my body gets acclimated to the volume and we're doing like seven to nine exercises on the upper body bodybuilding days, we start increasing the weights because I still want to have that linear progression. So I'm really trying to take this power builder approach where we really focus on the powerlifting parts for the powerlifting part so I don't lose my strength but I really emphasize the bodybuilding parts and kind of taking that linear progression into consideration so that even on the bodybuilding stuff, I can increase weight all across the board as well while I'm on this cut. And yes, I am on a cut, so these decreasing calories is hard. So for those of you guys that are cutting, I'm here with you. We are cutting together and it's gonna be tough, but we can stick through it. So the first exercise is a standard five by five uh, pause bench competition style. And I bumped up the weight compared to last week. This week I touched 270. And 270, anything between 270 and pretty much under 315, that's that weight where I don't really respect that much, but then if I don't respect it, then it becomes really, really heavy. Like when it's 315, like my mind is focused, everything is tight and I can blast it. And because of that, I think I always have to constantly remind myself, yes, this is light, but this is where you can work on technique, the explosiveness, the form, and really dial all that stuff in. And then finally, I think after the fifth set, I woke the fuck up because I kept talking to myself, I'm like, yo, wake up, this shouldn't feel heavy. And I was able to pause them for a long time and also still blast them. So that felt really, really good. Then we moved on to behind the neck overhead press. So this is still one of those times where I'm trying to take the accessories that's a bodybuilding accessory, but trying to make it more applicable to my future endeavor, which is I do want to get into Olympic weightlifting and being strong at that bottom position is very, very important to me. So I'm still increasing the weight. Last week I did 95, this week I did 105, four sets of 10. And my shoulders are still on fire and it feels fucking pumped right now. Like I feel like I'm Ronnie Coleman right now. And then uh, afterwards, we did dumbbell side raises just to finish killing the shoulders, increase the weight there too. Uh, last week I did 15 pounds, this week I did 20 pounds for four sets of 10, and it's just, it feels really good. Honestly, this is one of my favorite things about bodybuilding is getting that pump. Like, you don't really get that in powerlifting. You do get exhausted, and you do see the weights going up, and you can see yourself getting stronger, but there's no real, like, physical sign. Like you don't have a constant boner in your body the whole day, which I do love about bodybuilding is that constant boner that you get. You're just like, man, I feel swole. And then uh, afterwards we moved on to neutral grip pull-ups and pull-ups are getting way easier, even though I'm still fat as fuck. But uh, last week I'm, I was dying and this week I was able to pump through them. Eventually, I do want to get back to doing clap uh, pull-ups and then get back into doing muscle ups for reps. Right now I could probably only do like one or two because I'm so fucking fat, but I'm gonna work on that shit. So this is, this is what it's all about. You know, when you're, when you're training, Regardless of what mode you're training in, it's all about improvement and progress. As long as there's progress, just keep going. And uh, there's millions of us out there searching for that progress. After that, uh, after the vertical movement, moved on to a horizontal movement, and I was doing uh, lat pulls. And one thing I really like about this is because you don't have to focus on balancing the weight like you do uh, penlay rows or bent over rows. And I was really able to focus and squeeze the lats and really lead with the elbows and get that mind muscle connection. And I feel like an insane pump right now. And then afterwards, uh, I bumped up the close grip bench and preacher curl superset. Last week I did 135, this week I did 185. Good thing I picked 185. I was about to go 225 and that would've been fucking stupid because I had a hard ass time the first set to even get 185 into the right position. I think next week I gotta do it from a bench, like an actual bench, because I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna throw the weight on myself and die. So I did that and then I superset that with 275 and my arms got hella pumped after that. And usually I like to go ham on the compound movement. So like the close grip bench and then more of the preacher where it's, uh, well, Preacher's not really compound, but since it's two hands, you get to overload with a little bit more weight. Then when I move on to the isolation supersets, that's when I decrease the weight by a lot. The dumbbells only did 30 pounds, and the tricep kickback only did 15 pounds. But this is when I focus really on squeezing the muscle and not so much the curl movement. Like when I'm going heavy, I focus more on the curling movement, but when it's time to do isolation, I focus on just squeezing the muscle and let the arm like come up by itself. And, and uh, that's what I like to do with the isolation, really get that hypertrophy going on. So right now I'm fucking exhausted. Did seven to nine exercises and um, I feel really good. Thank goodness though, we have AC in this beautiful office so that I'm not dying of 
sweat elation and uh, I get to rest because in two days I have another training session. Peace! All the bulking has kind of like paid off a little bit. I know there's a lot of fat, but I also feel like there's a lot of muscle in there somewhere. I believe in the science. There's some muscle in here somewhere. And then uh, we went on to do good mornings, strengthen that lower back, the hand.